This week's market monitor is betting that his three picks will continue to offer investors growth, income, and reasonable valuations. It's his first time with us as market monitor, Mike Bailey is director of research at FBB Capital Markets. Mike, thanks for joining us tonight. Great. Thanks for having me. So you want growth, income, and value. Sounds like you want it all with these three. We want it all. That's right. We're, <laughs> uh, we're greedy. We want uh, you know, your cake and eat it, too. So we, we, we think some of these opportunities are out there. So, so uh, let's let's start first ahead. with your uh, first pick, which would be the symbol is ROP, Roper Technology. Uh, and you say they have an edge by going in and kind of remedying a, a problem that an existing company might have. That, that's right. Uh, this is uh, Roper is sort of one of the more interesting industrial companies that nobody's ever heard of. You know, they don't have a big flashy turbo engine or something like that to, to sort of put on TV. They just they're a collection of a bunch of really small products and, and companies that uh, previously, uh, before Roper came along, were, had ni nice assets, but were just were run poorly. Uh, Roper really scours the earth, looks for good um, products and, and increasingly technology and software, uh, buys those businesses, uh, brings them in-house and really kind of streamlines things, maybe brings in a new management team. And just like that, a great track record in terms of really boosting margins, kind of uh, ripping costs out of the system and, and growing nicely. Um, so they're actually kind of, they finished up one big wave of, of projects and they're on to their next wave. Uh, they're planning on, I think, putting away um, $7 billion into some new uh, acquisitions in the next four years. They actually just made their first deal, so the first of the $7 billion. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, Wall Street's already starting to take their um, profit estimates up. So I think okay. we've got a very nice runway here over the next few years. Now here's a company that everybody's heard of, but it's in a very competitive area. That would be Charles Schwab in the brokerage industry. That's right. So Schwab is, uh, as you said, definitely uh, becoming even more of a household name. Uh, they're, they're really doing very nicely. So uh, in the very short term, uh, certainly the tax cuts are helping them among uh, other companies. The other thing that's really helping Schwab is rising interest rates. So most people think of Schwab as, you know, uh, just kind of a discount broker. And, you know, you go and you do trades online for five dollars. Uh, in fact, they actually are a bank in a way. That's really where they're generating a, a ton of their profits. And uh, their bank was essentially making nothing last year. And as rates go up, they're making you know, very nice um, uh, interest income on just massive amounts of cash that's in their system. So we're just seeing profits really kind of spike up um, in 2018. Okay. Uh, the question, you know, question might be, is that a sugar high? You know, is, does, some, does that fall off next year? They do have some very nice growth over the next couple of years uh, that continues. So we, we like the story there. And they are taking their dividend up. So that's another attractive That's part. Another, another win. Uh, microchip technologies, you say they have two, win, two ways to win. Uh, one, grows earnings by acquiring smaller semiconductor companies, or they get acquired. That's right. So uh, you can maybe you know, think in your imagination, kind of uh, the, the big fish eating the little fish kind of thing. Uh, Microchip is kind of that fish in the middle. So uh, you know, they're, they've been doing a, a pretty good job the last few years, uh, looking around at smaller competitors, really buying them up, uh, similar to what uh, Roper's done, just uh, really um, stripping costs out of the system, kind of making the business grow more quickly. Uh, and they've done a good job of that. They've, they just uh, sort of bought another company uh, a couple months ago. However, uh, we do think that microchip is in a bit of a sweet spot. So they're, they're big enough uh, that you know, a, a much bigger semiconductor company that's out there could swoop in and buy them. And microchip is big enough to really move the needle for kind of one of the larger companies out there. So we do think that uh, it's one of the rare kind of semiconductor companies that's sort of in that middle spot uh, where they can sort of make money on both sides. Very good. Mike, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us tonight. Great. Thanks for having me. Mike Bailey with FBB Capital Partners, and you can read more about his picks. Just go to our website at nbr.com.